to see. So what I'm going to do here today, since I've already cracked it open, I've already tried it once. With that, I'm going to give it another shot here today. For... So as you're moving the bottle, I can see the color. Yeah. Really good. And it yeah. is just like the classic. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I need to know what's different. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, it says red grape wine. And I'm like, well, you have a red grape yeah. wine already. That's just the 13%. What's yeah. the difference of this other than it being a 20%? You say sweet taste, smooth finish, hard bite. So essentially, let me crack this open here again. I'm going to give it another another swig here. Second round. And then I'll then I'll give you my thoughts of of what it is. So there it is. MD2020 spiked the new kid on the block right here on bumming with Bobcat. So cheers. Cheers. All right. So okay. So you see my face. It's not I'm not I'm not making the uh, I smell poop face or anything like yeah. that. So so you know it's not, you know it's not bad. <laughs> but I have to say it it does taste just like a a red wine, just a lot sweeter. So it's essentially I was comparing it to like a dessert wine that's more of a it's got more of a sweeter taste to it and you can taste it like on your teeth as you're oh, drinking wow. it like like the the sweetness yeah. to it and i compared it to i did with the grocery gamblers uh, a few months back we did a trifecta of wines and one of them was the uh was a stella rosa red wine and it was it was like a somewhat carbonated wine now this one isn't carbonated don't don't get me wrong uh, with that but it had a lot sweeter taste it's not it's not too dry but it's got a sweet taste to it so it's not bad it's just something that you can't really drink a lot of in a sitting okay. because you know with stuff like the orange jubilee or the the blue raspberry yeah. you can you can start mm -hmm. sipping yeah, and you could. And next thing you know, you're halfway down a yeah. bottle. And you're like, oh shit, I gotta, I, I gotta slow down before this gets out of control because it's not meant to be. You're not meant to drink a 750 bottle of. Uh, no, especially 20 20. now. Yeah, yeah, especially with that and increasing the alcohol yeah. content with it. So I now, tried it. Are you getting the alcohol follow at all? Unlike it's, other mad dogs, it's very slim. You can okay. taste it, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, so all right. That's where I think it could get you in trouble. But I think with the sweetness of it, you can't drink too much of it at once. So, so let me let me ask you this: If you didn't present the bottle and nobody knew it was uh, MD twenty twenty, and you had it wrapped up in a dinner napkin. And you were serving it cold into a wine, fancy wine glass. Could you pull it off and fake somebody out? I think so. I think you could. I, I think you could right. pass it off for something. That tells me a lot right there. Yeah, I think you could. I mean, now it's it could still be a lot uh, sweeter for some people. Mm -hmm. That if you like that that dry wine, which, which some people do. I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan. I like my wine to have a little bit of a sweetness to it when I yeah. you know a regular a regular wine. So I have a yeah. friend who's who's big into wines, and when I go over there, he's like, "Oh, here I got." He gets like some wine of the month thing, and he's like, "Hey, sure. you got to try this, try this out." And I had one a few weeks ago when I was over there, and I'm like, "Okay, this one's pretty, pretty good. It's it's sweet, uh, but not like those dry ones that it's just like you you take a sip and you're like, like, like isn't this supposed to be like refreshing at at least a little bit?" Yeah. Uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> I was like but, a Chardonnay, it really just tarts your mouth. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like I, I, I get it. I mean, I know it's different drinking a wine compared to 
so we're something way like, off like on this, this uh, on the spike T that we were thinking there. Exactly. Yeah, that's why when I saw that spike, I'm like, oh man, is this like a a tea flavor? Yeah. And yeah. and because 